Hey world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math Freebie of the Week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week we will practice a specific question type. These videos are short, sweet, and to the point, and at the end of this video I'll show you where you can access even more videos to help make math your jam too. The focus for the question type this week is, drum roll multiple choice. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach you. All right, third grade, here is your problem of the week. This says that Emily runs five laps around the track. So five laps around the track every day for seven days. And the question says, how many laps does she run in total or in all. all right before I go ahead and walk through how I would solve this problem why don't you go ahead and pause the video and solve this one on your own then press play to check your work all right welcome back let's see how you did so we have Emily who runs five laps around the track every day for seven days okay so I like to draw this out we have somebody named Emily okay Put an E up there for Emily and she runs five laps around the track every day for five days. So if this is day one, she would run five laps. And then day two, she would run five laps. And then day three, three, she would run five laps. Same thing, day four, she runs five laps. Day five, she runs five laps. Day six, she runs five laps. And then I'm just going to bring day seven down here. Day seven, five laps. Awesome. So how many laps does she run in total? Well, I know that I can count by fives here. She runs five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 laps. So let's go through each of these. Emily runs seven laps in all. Nope. That's how many days she runs for. She runs 12 laps. Now that answer may be put there to confuse somebody who might think I have five and I have seven. Maybe if I add them together, I'll get 12, but that is not the right choice. 35 is, so we'll mark C. And Emily runs 40 laps in total. She does not. Now, I also want to point out that what we see here, we have groups of equal things. We have days where she runs five laps. So if we have groups of equal things, that means that we are multiplying here. Our group would be the days, which would be seven equal things or equal amounts would be five laps. So days, laps to equal 35 laps all together as our product. Just to point out, this is called the product right here. Okay, go ahead and make sure that you record any notes down that you did not already have on your paper. And that is your problem of the week. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the links around this video for some more information. Cool? Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you have got to put in the practice. You've got to put in your very best effort day in and day out, and that is how you achieve success. I believe in you, and I'll see you next time, world changers. Bye!